Hello, my name is Emma Ryan. Along with co-principal investigator Valerie Beerkant and co-investigators Emily Ellis and Rayleigh Walker, as freshmen from Bullard High School, we are proud to present our experiment, Microgravity's Effects on Solanum Tuberosum Resistance to Phytophthora Infestans. Phytophthora infestans, or commonly known as late potato blight, affects potatoes and tomatoes. It is infamous for causing the Irish potato famine. The blight-resistant potato variety, Solanum tuberosum, is a tuber. It is resistant to Phytophthora infestans on Earth. In space, however, the cell walls of plants grow thinner, leaving the unprotected plants susceptible to disease permeation. Our experiment will determine if the blight-resistant potato relies on decreased cell wall permeability for resistance. Our experiment's purpose is to provide information to the scientific universe about growing stable food sources in microgravity without danger. Phytophthora infestans, or the late potato blights, devastated the past. Now that humanity dares to live in space, there is potential for it to once again wreak havoc. Our experiment tests whether Salunum tuberosum, or blight-resistant potatoes, remain blight-resistant in space. By exposing Salanum tuberosum to sporangia from Phytophthora infestans, we will uh, ascertain whether tubers are affected. So, why potatoes? Well, potatoes have been a staple food source for a long time. As astronauts continue growing their own food in space, they will begin to rely on fundamental food sources such as potatoes more and more. Potatoes grown in space have the potential of being more susceptible to disease than terrestrial tubers, and thus there is the possibility of astronauts losing a stable food source to disease. This possibility deserves to be explored. Also a benefit of this experiment is that we will gain information on how Phytophthora infestans works. As a fungus-like protist, Phytophthora infestans is not understood well by the scientific community. The method by which it attacks its host is not certain. Previous experiments have shown that plant cell walls grow thinner in space. Therefore, if the tuber samples are affected by Phytophthora infestans while on the International Space Station, it is likely that permeability is Phytophthora infestans' route to infecting potatoes. If the possibilities can be narrowed down to permeability, scientists could achieve so much in protecting agriculture susceptible to Phytophthora infestans. The materials for our experiment include four full microbiological loops of Phytophthora infestans grown at the University of Texas at Tyler and incubated at 29 degrees Celsius. Slanin tuberosum cut into cubes of half a centimeter cubed, with potato skin included on one side of all of the cubes. One milliliter of a growth medium in the form of potato dextrose auger. A 10% bleach solution made from 720 milliliters of water and 80 milliliters of bleach. Our handling devices include one type 3 FME, one knife, tongs, and a 1,000 milliliter beaker. Here are the steps to our experiment. Step one. Sterilization. Make the bleach solution by mixing 720 milliliters of water and 80 milliliters of bleach in a 1,000 milliliter beaker. Sterilize the knife, tongs, and FME by submerging them in the, in the solution for five minutes. Step two, cutting. Cut the potato in half centimeter cubed slices. Six should be enough. Sterilize the tuber slices in the 10% bleach solution for, by submerging them for five minutes. Step three, move and assemble. Fill the FME as follows. Volume 1, 1 milliliter of auger. 4 microbiological loops of Phytophthora infestans. Volume 2, 3 half centimeter cubed slices. Volume 3, 3 half centimeter cubed slices. Step 4, in the space station. Unclamp clamp A to, re to release the Phytophthora infestans to one of the potato sections. Okay, so our respected re expected results. As the cell walls of plants are weakened in space, it is logical to assume that the blight-resistant potatoes will lose their resistance in space. If they do not, then it is probable that blight-resistant potatoes depend on a different factor than permeability for protection from Phytophthora infestans. This is important as it will enlighten future scientific research in regards to protecting crops both on Earth and in space from Phytophthora infestans. If the potato remains resistant in the microgravity environment, our hypothesis will have been realized, but questions will still arise. Some examples include, what is the effect of Phytophthora infestans on a blight-resistant variety of Slanum mycopersicum, more commonly known as a tomato, in a microgravity environment? This is important, as tomatoes are ranked as the most important non-starchy vegetable in the United States, and it would lead to more knowledge on how Phytophthora infestans infects its hosts. There is also, what is the effect of Phytophthora infestans on a non-blight resistant slant and tuberosum in a microgravity environment? This is important as it would show us whether it was the fungus that changed instead of the potato. Even if the potato does not remain resistant, many new questions will still arise. What would be the resistance of slant and tuberosum to Phytophthora infestans with the protection of name brand fungicides in a microgravity environment? 
This is important, as even if blight-resistant potatoes lose their resistance, we can find new ways to protect potatoes. What is the effect on the lifespan of phytophthora infestants in a microgravity environment? This is important as it will give scientists new ideas on how to combat phytophthora infestants in both a micro and full gravity environment. A huge thank you to Scott Franks, principal of Bullard High School, Alana Kanan, teacher facilitator, Jennifer Smith, co-teacher facilitator, Amanda Good, SSCP coordinator and co-director, Chris Pollock, co-director, Dr. Ali Asghani, professor at University of Texas at Tyler, Todd Schneider, superintendent of Bullard ISD, the Bullard School Board, Partners in Funding, Bullard Independent School Board, Bullard Education Foundation, Texas Sp Space Grant Consortium, Center for the Advancement of Science in Space, SSCP National Partner, Subaru of America Incorporation, SSCP National Partner. We have enjoyed having this opportunity to research something that we believe is important, and it has been an amazing discovery to how important even potatoes are in the scheme of life and in space. Thank you. Do we have any questions for these presenters? I'm Vivian from Seattle, and I was wondering, did you have any concerns about the bleach sterilization procedure affecting the reaction in between the potato and the bacteria? We've tested it. Um, that was actually, we did have a concern about that, but uh, we researched previous experiments that were similar to this, but they were in synthesized microgravity, and they used uh, bleach sterilization, and it's not intense enough to really harm the tuber. Hi, I'm Rob, also from Seattle. I know there are strains of potatoes that are still vulnerable to Phytophthora. Have you uh, taken a look at what, that, what a successful infestation looks like, or have you thought about doing that so you will know what a diseased potato might look like? We have, there's, um, there are a lot of good pictures on the internet. If you just Google Phytophthora infestans, then you can see both uh, the potatoes as people see them naturally and also through a microscope you can see how it looks. 